Mondays are the best day of the week. Change my mind. Okay, my mind has changed. It turns out I had a really bad argument. I'm your host, Andrew, and this is Crypto Espresso, your teeny tiny daily shot of caffeinated crypto headlines. Let's flippin' go. First up, a judge has suggested that he's prepared to revoke Sam Bankman-Fried's bail if his internet usage continues to be a problem. The disgraced entrepreneur has used an encrypted messaging app to contact a former FTX employee, as well as a VPN to watch the Super Bowl. At a hearing, Judge Lewis Kaplan demanded both sides come up with tighter bail conditions to stop this from happening again, adding, why am I being asked to turn him loose in this garden of electronic devices? He also expressed concerns that SBF could end up using his parents' unmonitored devices while under house arrest in California. SBF's lawyer, Mark Cohen, has insisted that his client has not violated the bail conditions, adding, he's literally on trial for his life. OpenSea has unveiled big changes to fees as it battles to remain the world's biggest NFT marketplace. On Twitter, the platform declared that, for a limited time only, it will no longer be taking a commission whenever non-fungible tokens are sold through its website. There is also some bad news for digital artists who rely on receiving their income through secondary sales. From now on, creator earnings are going to be optional and set to a minimum of 0.5%, which is far less than the 5-10% to that many have become accustomed to. All of these big moves come as a rival NFT market place called Blur continues to chip away market share from OpenSea, adding insult to injury at a time of lower trading volumes. And finally, Paul Pierce is going to pay $1.4 million to the SEC after endorsing Ethereum Max on social media. The former NBA star's posts came shortly after he was fired by ESPN for breaking COVID rules while in a room with exotic dancers. Officials say his tweets were false and misleading, including one where Pierce claimed that he'd made more money on Emacs than as a sports pundit. He also posted pictures of an Ethereum Max balance that was far higher than his actual balance, and he sold off tokens while claiming that he was buying more. Pierce's penalty isn't much larger than the $1.26 million that Kim Kardashian paid for endorsing the same altcoin, and both have agreed that they won't shill cryptocurrencies online for at least three years. And speaking of a very gentle slap on the wrist, Ooh, sorry, just swatting a mosquito. Don't beat yourself up, just make sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on that little bell icon to get buzzed whenever a new Crypto Espresso video goes live. What'd you think about today's episode? Well, just let us know in those comments below, because I read them and I take feedback way, way too seriously. Hmm. Questions about our headlines or crypto in general? Ask Alex in that description below. How many times do I have to tell you? Alex is a great resource for all things Web3 and the metaverse. And that does it for our episode today. Again, I've been your host, Andrew. These have been your headlines, and we'll see all of your beautiful and shining faces tomorrow.